Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing another vlog because I have some things I feel I should talk about and I just kind of want to talk about. Um, I have, this is like the second vlog I've ever done. Um, the first one being uh, the one I did about my other channel. So if you haven't seen that, you can go check it out. Or if you just want to go see my other channel, there might be a link in the description. But I'm not really talking about that. But if you haven't seen that, you probably won't know that my name is Peter because I never really mention it. Um, but today I'm talking about integration and where YouTube is going, um, because I'm, uh, I guess you could say I'm a little worried about a lot of things. Uh, those, uh, the integration and where YouTube is going is actually surprisingly high on my priority list of things I am concerned about. Not so much worry, an itchy nose, I must have been a weird face, I'm sure there's a, on that gifable note, let's carry on. Um, so yeah, I'm sure as a lot of you know, uh, YouTube has been going through some changes, and I'm sure some of you know. Um, I say a lot and some, but there's probably not that much difference, because I don't get that many views, but it's not really what this is about. Um, yeah, so the most recent thing YouTube has done, which has caused, an, caused a lot of problems with people, is um, uh, they've kind of changed the policies on copyright, which means a lot of videos have been flagged. Um, I first heard about this on Ryan the Soul Gamer's channel. Uh, I believe YouTube is his job, so, and he's had a lot of his videos flagged and unmonetized because of copyright claims, because of the music in the games. So when you take away someone's videos, which are their job, then they lose money and it makes it hard to live because, you know, in our society, money's fairly important. But uh, yeah, so. I think I don't fully understand the problem with that, and that's not what I'm actually here to talk about. But if you want to know a lot about that, I'd suggest going and checking out checking out Enter Elysium's vlog because he did something about it, and he sum, uh, summed up what was wrong quite well with um, what's happening. Because basically, uh, just to quickly summarise it, basically there are copyright claims on a lot of gaming videos, partly from YouTube's change of policy and partly from the big companies and not so much from the actual partnership programs. Um, they've changed some things to try and deal with it, I think, but um, I'm not fully sure. Go check that out for this. I'm just kind of talking about integration in general. Kind of quite heavily in the gaming world, because that's kind of where I live. Um, like, I've noticed with the new consoles, I don't have one, but I've noticed that kind of Xbox One and PS4, they've, they've kind of tried to make a very social experience. I noticed, uh, I think Xbox One has done it too much, and PS4 still does it quite a lot. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm a little bit ill. Because um, you see this kind of social network of what all your friends are playing, and what, what they're doing and things on the games consoles, and it's kind of a bit much, because I... I, I enjoy social networks, I don't use them too much, I enjoy consoles, I don't particularly want them together, because they're two very different things, and I, I'm a fan of integration, like um, the phone I'm actually recording this on, because I don't have any money for a proper camera. I like that I don't have to carry a camera and a calculator and whatever else, and a games console around, because it's all on my phone. I like that I can do that, but I don't like that I have to use a social network to go on YouTube, I don't like that... I have to sign up for Google Plus to make comments on YouTube videos. I'm trying to rant about that too much, but I hate Google Plus, and now I have it, and I'm part of it, because because Google's thing didn't work, and they realized, oh yeah, you know what, people like YouTube, so let's take that away from them unless they have Google Plus. And that's very forceful. Um, oh god, that's a, I've got some notes here, um, and I was trying to think of things to write down, because I'm tired to do this a couple of times, but just forgot what I was talking about. But, um... I quite like integration that has been decided by the people who use it. I don't like it when it's forced upon you. Um, I like Windows 8. Windows 8 is awful. Just just awful. Um, because, well, quite a lot of things. Um, first off, I hate Windows anyway, because I'm a huge nerd and I like Linux. <laughs> but it's like they've kind of designed this very tablet-esque, operating system, and I don't want tablets forced on me, I don't use tablets because I don't have any money for tablets basically, but I don't want it forced upon me, I like that I can have a normal computer and then a tablet, I like having my games without social networks, I like 
all of that. I I kind of it's it's a hard subject. I I like integration of various things, like I was saying with phones, and I think there's a line you have to find. There's kind of you you have to kind of I, I, integration is difficult. You can't just say, well, let's do this. Let's make this basically a tablet. Let's make you use Google Plus because now they won't take it back because that'll make Google Plus look even worse and make it just a complete joke. But if they'd kind of tested and maybe just done a survey, I hate, I don't really like surveys, but it would have been better than forcing it upon us because uh, Google started off as a simple idea. And then they did lots of other things which were amazing, like Google AdSense. I think that's great. I think buying YouTube was a great idea for Google, but selling YouTube was a bad idea for YouTube, um, weirdly enough. And they've done quite a lot of things. Google Innovate and make great things, but then they make Google Plus, and they're not going to back off for that because that makes Google look less confident, and that probably makes shareholders less confident in Google and maybe even drops their share price. And now it's... Google's become very corporate, and YouTube I've always loved because it's kind of this playground. It's like, upload your videos if they're awful murder things, we'll take them off. That was a little extreme, but um, but now it's it's just so corporate, and I'm not, a, I'm not someone who's like, oh, everything shouldn't be corporate, we should just be about peace and love. I think that's a very important part of society, but I think you've got to be careful with integration because you have two very different things. You have, you you have your like for instance, as I was talking about, you have your social networks and you have your gaming. They're different. You've got to keep them apart. And maybe, maybe have a way of sharing. Like on the PS3, you could check for your little friends. Let's see what people are playing on Steam. You can look at um, your friends, see what they're playing, see what they play most, see how many hours they've played, which is bad because I've played far too many hours of Kerbal Space Program. But I don't want to have this big wall of what everything everyone is doing. I don't want to be told what achievements they're getting or the exact game mode they're playing because I don't care. And I don't like that you don't even have to watch a YouTube video to comment on it more anymore. You can just comment on it on Google Plus. So if you're just l kind of I mean, okay, I'm not I, I if you don't have time and you just want to comment and say something that's great, but maybe just click on the video play I I, I think it detract uh, integration can often detract from what you're trying to do. It dilutes the essence. That was that was an odd reference. That was an odd metaphor, but it kind of dilutes the essence of your main product. Like Google Plus um, has kind of uh, diluted. It uh, kind of changed how YouTube works because you have this kind of two separate. You have the social bit and the video bit, rather than just this video bit with this kind of social cesspool of comments. Um, and it's the same with games, consoles, and everything. And my phone, I like, like the integration of um, social networks, social media onto phones. And I think that's great. I like being able to just check my Facebook, um, but I don't like that it just complete that it, that I am informed of every message and birthday and photo that's been uploaded to me. I will check that when I go on Facebook. I don't need it there. Why do we need everything to be kind of right where we need like right at our hand? That didn't make any sense because I've kind of it's late and I haven't structured this very well. And I'm not going to talk much long be longer because this has probably lost all substance. But my point is. Things are kind of being ruined by this idea that's very subtle, this integration. It's like, oh, this little new... Like, I've got YouTube open right now, and there's like this little bell next to my uh, next, to, next to my Tate Gaming thing. And it's like, oh, I won't notice that. Then it flags up. I'm like, oh, it's a little notification. Then I realize I'm signed up to Google+. And they'll, it's like I'm having this kind of stuff I don't want subtly forced upon me through things I do want. And it's out of our control, and Google won't back off because they're too scared of losing money, and Microsoft won't back off because Microsoft never back off. And that's going to be the same kind of thing, so I think we may have just kind of lost a little control over the products we like, and that's that's kind of a little sad, and I think that's where I'm going to end this. So um, this will hopefully be uploaded, because...
because it may have just been a long time of me talking about nothing. But if you have any thoughts, feel free to comment on Google+, Plus. I mean YouTube. Or, you know, um, yeah, so if you have any comments, you know, feel free to comment or like or plus one, is it now? I don't know. I think you can actually plus one videos, but I don't care. Anyway, uh, yeah, this has been Peter rambling about things. Um, yeah, rant over. I hope you will watch more of my videos. Elu Base will probably be up fairly soon, or maybe it's already been uploaded. I don't know about orders. Anyway, I will see you next time, probably.